My name is Velarde. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign Leo for the month of December 2020. If you guys haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my page and leave a like and a comment if this message resonates with you. Thank you so much. Granny Google, please let me know the messages that we have for the signs Leo for the month of December. Ashe, 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 ashe. Excuse me, Leo. Let me go change the battery. I'll be right back. Okay, Leo. You change the battery pack. Sorry about that. What messages do we have for the sign of Leo for the month of December 2020? Thank you so much, Spirit. What messages do we have for Leo for the month of December? <clears throat> you guys are waiting for a message to come in from somebody. You guys are actually waiting for an apology from somebody. This person is taking their time to give it to you. They're acting immature and stubborn about giving you this apology, Leo. Okay? <clears throat> Seems like you've fallen out of love with someone. This person has fallen out of love with you. Okay? You guys are no longer in a relationship because you guys had a lot of fighting, a lot of chaos, a lot of competition. Okay? This caused you to really be have anxiety. This person caused you stress, unnecessary stress, with all the fighting and all the confusion that was going on, all the competition <clears throat> that was going on. Okay. And this person wasn't willing to work with you. All right. You may have babies by this person. This person wasn't willing. To work it out with you for the babies, for the family, okay? This person, all they wanted to do was fight. And all they did was cause you stress. This person was a player, okay? This person played around too much, okay? They know that they had a family at home. They know that she was wifey material, okay? But all they wanted to do was fight, cause chaos, and just play with other people, all right? Causing you stress, unnecessary stress. Okay. This person know they did wrong though. But this person know they did they did wrong and they do want to come back and apologize, but they're being stubborn about it. Because they're upset that you're not willing to love them no more. They're upset that you're not willing to take their bullshit any longer, Leo. But if this person isn't loving you right, why stay? If they just keep causing drama and competition and want to play with other people, why stay? It's not worth losing, you know, a night's rest. It's not worth, worth losing sleep over a person who doesn't want to do right by you. So that's good that you <clears throat> are learning to love yourself more and to let this go. Okay. And with doing so, this this situation is going to really help learn yourself, learn what you value the most, and learn what you desire and what you value in having in a mate. So learn this lesson, Leo. Don't be bitter about what happened. Don't be in sorrow about what happened. Learn from this. Learn from this lesson, and move on. Okay, don't be anchored in this emotion. Okay, so this emotion, <clears throat> this person triggers some childhood trauma in you. Okay, 
so that's how you that's how you know you need to let this go because this person was making you react in a way that you thought that you've gotten gotten over as a child okay and this also affected the children all this fighting and fussing affected the children These, the children felt it so that's good that you got away okay everybody need needs healing from this and that's good that you didn't want to repeat a cycle that you saw that you grew up from and allowed your kids to see the same thing so this is awesome Leo. let this go love yourself because you have to be an example for your children okay <clears throat> life lessons you can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessings they contain okay so i just said this okay life lesson break the negative patterns break you know how you grew up okay break the pattern how you grew up for your children by learning to love yourself learning a lesson and letting this person go from being a partner it doesn't mean you have to let this person go from your life because this person is a parent to this child. But staying together and fighting all the time is not healthy for you and it's not healthy for the kids. Okay, Leo. <clears throat> Purification and detoxification. Okay. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. So it was time. It's time to let this person go. It's time it was time to let this toxic energy go. Okay. You had to release this because that stress was causing physical pain <laughs> upon you. So that's good you let this go. It was time. It was time to release this. So you did good, Leo. And if you haven't let go of this person yet, it's time. It's time to purify your energetic feel and detox of, detox from this person because this person is too toxic for you not only for you but for your kids as well okay like i said you don't have to cut this person out your life because this person is a parent to your child but you could cut the relationship off as far as being with this person a lot of people think that they need to be with the child's you know parent in order to have a successful family but it's even more toxic when the child is growing up around all these negative, toxic emotions and energy. One more message for Leo. <clears throat> Regeneration. I have the Osiris card here. Okay. So this is all about death and rebirth. Okay. So you deaded this, this relationship, but you're going to be trans, transmuted, transformed after this relationship okay you're learning more about yourself okay like i said earlier you're learning more about yourself from the situation okay this is helping you learn who you are so you're definitely going to be reborn once you heal from all this negative energy that this person has embedded in you okay and this is going to be good for your kids because you're going to be living by example all right leo okay that is your reading if you find this message has resonated with you, please leave me a comment or a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you so much, Leo. Peace.